Today we're going to go over how to upgrade your Flexi subscription from 12 to 19 when it's available for your license. Keep in mind that SAI is rolling these out in waves to avoid crashing the download server. So be patient. Yours will come up if it hasn't already. You'll get an email or a pop-up notification in your software when your license is available for upgrade. The first thing we want to do is go to saicloud.com and log in with our email and password. When we log in, we'll see a list of the licenses that we have, and we'll want to make sure that we go to a subscription license. and that we're downloading the proper license for the computer that we're working on. So when we find that in that row, we'll just click this great download button to the right. And we'll get to the download page. From here, we can click download now. This will download our downloader packet. We can open that to run it. and it will start downloading the software. Download time will vary based on your internet connection. When the download completes, it will ask us if we want to start the installation process now. We'll go ahead and click yes. And you may see a screen that will ask you if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. You can go ahead and click yes on that as well. And we'll get asked about our setup language. Choose your language from the drop down and click OK. And Windows will prepare the install shield wizard. Once that's ready to go, we can go ahead and click next to continue into the installation. We have our software license agreement, pretty standard stuff for any piece of software. We just need to accept and click next. And you should get this alert asking if you want to overwrite your previous installation. Now for the ease of moving everything, all settings and preferences over to from 12 to 19, we're going to go ahead and say no on that. It'll ask us what folder we want to put it in. This folder path is fine for most people. It, this number at the end might change depending on how many times you've installed the software. So we'll go ahead and click next. If you're using a USB key, you will need to click the SafeNet Sentinel system driver so that installs. In the program icons selection, this isn't something that most users will have to worry about. So you can just click next. And the install will start its process. When the install completes, we will need to put our activation code in. That can be found back on the download page. Just right here underneath the uh, Flexi logo. We can copy that. And paste it right into the License Manager and click Next. Get a licensing successful and finish. At this point, we, the Install Manager will run through its process. It'll ask us if we want to clear the previous preferences. Go ahead and click No on that. And finish the install. Now we have our Flexi 19 and Production Manager 19 logos on our desktop. We can go ahead and open those up. And we have successfully upgraded to Flexi 19. If for some reason our preferences didn't carry over from the previous install, there's no need to panic. We can get those moved over pretty easily. First thing we would need to do in that case is go ahead and close everything and right click on our Flexi shortcut, select open file location. In our file explorer that opens up, we just need to go back two folders to our SAI folder here. You can do that by simply clicking on the SAI folder or clicking this up arrow here twice. This will take us to the SAI program folder. Inside of this folder, we'll see all the installations of Flexi we have currently on our computer. Our SAI Production Suite Cloud 1 is, in this case, 
Flexi 19. Your numbers may vary based on how many times you've installed the software. Our Flexi 12 in this case is this one here, so we'll open that folder up and scroll down to the bottom and find our Preference Manager shortcut. If we double click that to open it, it'll open our Preference Manager and we can save our current preferences from Flexi 12. We just need to give them a name. You can name them whatever you would like. Once those are saved, we can highlight those and click the Export button and save them in an easy to find location. In this case, I've just saved them in a folder on my desktop. And we'll click OK and then exit. From here, we'll go back to our SAI program folder and into the Production Suite Cloud folder for 19. Scroll down to the bottom again and open Preference Manager. We'll then click Import. Select our Flexi 12 preference file. Select Open and we will get a prompt asking if we want to load the preferences. In this case, that's something we want to do, so we'll click Yes. OK and Exit. Now we can open Flexi 19 and Production Manager 19. And now we see that our preferences came over just fine and got copied without any problems. This will bring over your setups, your jobs in Production Manager, as well as any custom swatch or toolbar setups that you may have. Now the only thing left to bring over would be our profiles for our printers. The easiest and quickest way to do that is to go back to our desktop. Right click on our Flexi shortcut again, open file location. From here we'll go back to our SAI folder and into our SAI Production Suite Cloud folder for Flexi 12. And we will go to our ICC Profile folder. Now you'll have a folder in here for each one of your printers. In most cases most people only have one. Copy the contents of the folder for this, in this case, a MUTO ValueJet 1628X. We will select, select all of these profiles. We will right click and select copy. Go back to the SAI folder and into the Production Suite Cloud folder for 19. ICC Profile folder and find the same folder for that same printer and paste our profiles. Now, if we open our default job properties and go to our color management tab, we see that our profiles are there. Flexi 19 has dropped support for SO diffusion dither types. The entire industry is going that direction. So built into 19 is, is a conversion tool. You will get this warning that comes up um, it does let you know that there is an 100% match guarantee, but SAI has done everything possible to make an accurate color match. You can go ahead and click Update All to update your profiles. It'll ask you the folder that you'd like to convert. It will pull automatically the folder with the profiles in it, so you can just go ahead and hit Convert. And then OK. And close. And OK. And now all of your profiles that were in SO Diffusion have been converted to Enhanced Stochastic. So from there, we pretty much got everything carried over, and we're ready to use Flexi in Production Manager. I hope you found this video helpful.